I was inspired to write this op-ed because it was one of the most difficult decisions I had to make as a professor to consider being the department chair. It felt like a career change. There was so much I didn't know about what department chairs did because I had completely ignored what those functions were when I was purely just a faculty member in the department. It was also difficult because of the time demands. I was overflowing with commitments already and wasn't quite sure how I could manage this new obligation. I struggled with reconciling how I would manage the role while not losing my current career momentum. Because of the word limit, I left out a few items I'd like to discuss. The first was a fear of being responsible for my department and my colleagues, which was very real for me. The department has historically been highly ranked uh, by ranking services, and I certainly had some concern about taking leadership of uh, such a historic department. I also uh, did not discuss how I translated what I learned into workflow charts to understand the time demands, which was partially due to the fact that it was difficult to achieve such a thing. Uh, and then lastly, I did not expound on the meaning of being a good departmental citizen um, again, because of the time it would take to really make sense and meaning of it, I thought it might be best to reserve that for another op-ed opportunity. Three big takeaways from this op-ed are, first, when you assume the department chair role, you are the caretaker that creates the intellectual space that others enjoy while you may not be able to fully benefit. Second, to be successful, you must attack the role with the same vigor and rigor that you have done your research, uh, but also be motivated by the community of learners that you now lead. And lastly, being considered for the department chair role is a natural progression of faculty life. Whether you consider to do it, it's your story.